<laughs> okay, so let's go now. When does the MC start? Oh, you now is is now after Jomino. Okay, this Jomino yeah. season so, is entering. So during that that season of Jomino, the two thousand and seven eight, that's mm-hmm. when I believe the MC began properly. Because what happened now, we used to go to clubs to promote our music. Okay, so mm-hmm. we go to Kani. There's a gig, say Sexy Saturday by DJ Gitch Boy. Say I'm, I'm going to come to hype up my fans and and promote my jams, like what we call a club appearance today. Mm. So we used to do that back in the day. So I go, I get into the DJ booth, big up the DJ, I uh, get on the mic, say, yo, 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 DNG, Daniel Nimba Mambo, VP! A chocha, and then we, we play a jam, Banjuka remix, Chapa, uh, Shake, whatever. And then I go and, and have my drink with my peeps. So, so as I used to hype, one of my boys called Robert Kongoro, aka the Robs. And this guy he told me, Bana, bro, really good at what you do, man. Say it a bit, you are a little bit. I'm not 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 a little bit. So, before I even introduce my jams, mm. I do like a small set, mm. like what used to do with K Crew Afra Kata, yeah. but I'm in the DJ booth. Yeah. So, I'm doing like a set of, of many jams. I'm hyping up many jams. Then mm. I say, Are you ready for my new track, Shake? And I introduce, mm. I do my, let's say, one verse, one track, and then I chomoka. Because it's not a performance, mm. it's just like. Push You're it. letting guys know yeah. DNG is a new jam. So Kitambo, this is now you see we didn't have to do YouTube. Even YouTube, we didn't understand what's mm, happening mm. here. So promotion of music used to be radio, a TV, mm. and then clubs, and DJs were mat, mat three. Mm, mm. What is that guy called again? K, 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 DJ Khan, not K Trix. Asewengi. Yeah. Anyway. K Trix, Kalonji. Kalonji, yeah. There are many guys who've done mixtapes. Yeah. For, for Zaku promote Mango Mazakena. So that's how we used to make, uh, do publicity for mm. our jams. Eh? So you see now here yeah, we're not in uh, performing in high schools or campus yep, anymore. Yep, yep. But we still have to reach our audience. So the club scene was where it was at. So you hit the big clubs, the Resoras, the so in a night, how many clubs Black you Diamonds, do? just depends. We, 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 we do our, our roster. Okay, wait, chill. Let's, let's yeah. first get this. So my boy Robs really encouraged me and told me that I can commercialize what it is that I'm doing so well. Because, you know, going on on stages and, and going to clubs and bigging up people and getting them excited in the dance floor, getting ready to jump to my song. He saw that as, as an art form on its own, apart from the normal music performances that we're doing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I decided to take it seriously. I decided to give it a shot. And when I was looking at coming into this industry as an MC, uh, like any businessman or entrepreneur, you have to do a SWOT analysis. Mm, strengths. Check your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, mm. right? So my strength was energy. That is not natural for me. People ask me, do you take drugs? Mm. Eh, what mm. do you mean? It's too show na ibambe. For me, it's, it's like a switch. Come on, yeah. let's go. Yep. It's like turbo, a cow, it's <laughs> turbo for those who are enthusiasts. Ibu <laughs> Uh, so you do you do you, as you said you have to do a SWOT analysis. Yeah. So I checked my strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I uh, realized that energy is my thing. So I decided, yo man, uh, let me capitalize on this because I also realized that there's an opportunity there because not many people were doing this kind of MC. Who was doing it? In fact, um, apart from like guys like uh, Spliffstar, um, uh, who Spliffstar is Bass Rhymes uh, hype man. Uh, apart from him, <laughs> no, so I mean, you're not locally known. <laughs> local, I'm getting there. So, so internationally, Spliff Star stood out for me. Fat Man Scoop, of course, mm-hmm. stood out for me. Um, so locally, when I started, I and DJ Nijo, do you know DJ mm-hmm. Nijo? Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. DJ Nijo used to um, used to DJ at uh, Resorts in OST. Mm-hmm. He and I st- started this MC thing at about the same time. So he was doing his thing in the club. I decided to do my thing in concerts. So Nijo and I were the only guys who were turning up a crowd. Although before before we started doing this thing, even DJs never used to speak mm-hmm. into the microphone. Mm-hmm. Like a DJ just used to come play music and go home. Mm-hmm. So we set up something different. I, I felt like what was lacking in, in concerts and music events and festivals was energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming from a backdrop of previous MCs who are comedians, I felt like, okay, thanks for your time. It's our time now. So and now the MCs who would be called for events would be the KJs. Yeah, the KJs, the the te- Big Teds, mm-hmm. the Big Kevs, the Nyambanes. Those are the guys I found when I started doing my MC. Yeah. Okay, so those guys were doing comedy. 
So I realized it's an opportunity because, you know, yeah, comedy is great, but you can't crack jokes the whole gig. What do people want? People yeah. have come for a concert to have a good time and turn up. So I realized that is what people want. People want to drink their drinks, put their hands in the air, have a good time. Like they just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I packaged and I sold. So I started doing... Uh, Aha, what do you mean you packaged it and sold it? Explain that bit. So, so I had to package it because it was an unknown it was an unknown uh, venture, so to speak. Uh, Hype MCing had not existed. Therefore, I had to create it in my own way, localize it in a way that Kenyans can understand and sell it like to agencies, promoters, event organizers, etc. So what would you do? And you're so in school far, still at this same time, huh? So yeah, I'm still in USIU and I'm still an artist, but I'm also trying to get into MCing at the same time. So I'm just managing. It's about 2000 and if I recollect correctly, around 2007, thereabout. Okay, okay. Thereabout. 2007 plus minus one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 2007, eight. Um, so again, it, it, it was progressive. So what I started doing, I started telling, uh, you know, the guys I knew who would organize events, Gitch Boy, Homeboys, etc., that, hey, I want to be an MC. People are like, an MC? Can you MC? They will come and show me how you MC, because people didn't understand what I wanted to do. Mm. So I had to now do my first couple of shows for free. Yep. So like I'd go to Sexy Saturday, I tell Gitch Boy, put me on as your MC, uh, and I'll do it for free. So he's like, okay. He's already seen me hype up guys in the club anyway. Yeah, so he's like, so he's like a cool. bit of trust. Yeah, it's a bit of trust. So he's like, Sasa, you come do your thing. Uh, pro Bro, bono. you're saying Gitch Boy. That's how way back this yeah, is. Yeah, so that's way back. So it's Gitch Boy, those kind of people. Um, and then at going, I, 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 I MC my show. I, he, I ask him for like uh, complimentaries for myself or my guys so that I can have like squad. So I check in with my entourage. Jomino taught me that like whenever an artist is going somewhere, Go with your crew, go with your people, go with your team. Mm. This is now even before today, like where we have have a team of guys doing a behind the scenes mm. documentation, have a producer. What those days? It was just credit to my yeah, best day. Yeah. My boys, trying to support the other. Hey, yes. hey, yes. DJ, wanna chocha, wanna chocha, wanna ni chocha ko booth, ko DJ booth. And, and who are that. these guys? Guys, you've been USAU with. So it it was a mix of both. There were some guys who are my USAU buddies. Some guys who are like from Jomino, like mm, Kina Robs, okay. mm -hmm. etc. My manager at the time, uh, Muti, and and we just kept kept doing it. So I, I did these gigs. I, I I started showing event organizers that we can do events differently. Like you don't need to get a corporate MC who is boring. You don't have to get a comedian who will do jokes. Let's do energy. So I packaged that and I showed them how to do it. So after the success of one, two, three, four, five gigs, now it became a paying thing. So I remember homeboys calling me for a gig. Actually, before homeboys, I remember teaming up with Blackstar. Mm -hmm. and, and, Smalls and, and Edu G. Yeah, yeah. And there was a guy called Michelle Waikenda, mm -hmm. who was the former CEC for uh, uh, Kiambu County. Yo. Under the Kabogo yeah. government, yes. He, Michelle was in... in, in Blackstar? Yeah, Michelle was a director at Blackstar. Yo. So Michelle late, currently is a political advisor at State House. He's my former boss. What? So so what happened? This I remember correctly. Let me shock you. I, way back when I started CTA, yeah. he's one of the people I had an interview with. Nice. But under and, and, uh, Chase Bank. So so what happened in 2000, about 2008, there about, I think, yeah, 2008, that's my second year. Getting into my second, second year. I... I fell out with my mom uh, because I was partying too much, coming home late, um, coming early. Like my mom was not feeling this lifestyle eh, mm. of the turn up and this. And she, there's one day she told me, "In Yumba si lodging, una kuja una oga una kula unaenda una kuja una oga una kula unaenda isi lo si lodging bana." So I had so much of this kuzushi all the time. Eh. You know, African moms out there, Tijisha Ukelele, man. Unolanga mama flako. What is? And I let her she up. So that's how African moms are, man. They, yeah. When they decide to descend on you with, yeah, the, they come with down. The, <laughs> the words. The gift of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one day I told my mom, now we pee out a corner and sushi a sad naive, man. I'm born a killer, I'm a killer, I'm a killer. Ah, he's in your back. 
enda kwako bado utakuwa unakuja venye unataka unakuja venye unataka isi lo isi loji so i told my mom saba basi ndaenda enda 2008 believe me the next day i'd moved out of that house what so i moved out of the house without knowing where i'm going to sleep i took a pickup from kijata market eh i got my taxi guy my to negotiate for me good price with the guy for pickup transport wale wasa kona ile kimbao iko na kato nimeandikwa transport transport yani wale wasa perewa uko na shilingi so i got the guy he even like helped me dismantle my bed i got a kafundi a big guy called uh, petero big shout out is my fundi till today Mm. for like whenever we managing our properties and he, you know we need repair work as a guy so peter and this there this idea me this man told my stuff so i had a bed i moved out to my bed my mattress uh, my obvious sheets and duvet i moved out had a radio like a small radio is hi fi so mm. ile like, kona speaker mbili na cassette alafu dvd ni kama na hiyo and then what else did i have and a wardrobe where were you going i went to usai Mm. So now I, I knew there were like some empty empty house huko my hostel hostel I can in here. So then as I'm moving I call my boy. My boy had a one bedroom it's called Megwe Runji. Big shout out the Meg. So Megwe was my pal. We used to have drinks pamoja he was my nigga yani. So he had a one bedroom house. So I told him chief in this one bedroom bana. Same moving manze and then we split the rent. So Megs <laughs> I don't know if you want me to say this but alikuwa analipiwa hiyo hao na budake mm. 10k so nikamwambia kila mwezi mimi ndakuwa nakulipa 5k si yeye amepata biz na si ni mabeshe so tukagawanya hiyo room nusu mka nusu mkate <laughs> room ya side yake na side yangu ni kama dormitory hivi yeah, 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 so, yeah. so one bedroom mm. pande yangu iko na bed yangu na wardrobe yangu pande yake iko na bed yake wardrobe yake Yaani ni ile design ya sharing is scary. <laughs> Ukikuja na mtu wako leo mimi ndio refari. <laughs> Kesho nikikuja na mtu wangu <laughs> when you refer. Yaani kaende kae katambe buda. <laughs> so I move into yes are you and it's late. So now we panga logistics for okay. Here yeah, we don't cook so we do. Again every cook me don't cook fam. Mm. So uko kuna ma hizi ma restaurants restaurants chip chip 80 bob umekula dondo na chapo. Uko tu fit na kasukuma. Tibo, tibo, yani budget inacheza chini. Yeye akiwa na float ya Buda tunakula kwa cafeteria kama ma, ma punk. Mimi mm. <laughs> <laughs> na So what I did eh, I, I made a commitment to rent parent without knowing where I was going to get the money because I didn't have a job. Mm. So this is like the beginning of to eight uko. So I I tell I, I, I reach out to Blackstar. So one of my friends called DJ BK Big up right now is in mm. Uganda on a radio station there. Uh, he plays there so he he was playing for blackstar so mm. i'd seen him with this blackstar t-shirts and mm. all that he was also again you say you so tell me he was in bapo as well he was in bapo as yeah. well ben kuyo i tell him my g this blackstar do you have an mc it tells me we don't have an mc because blackstar was a group of djs mm-hmm. that was formed after code, code red, red broke up yeah. so some guys went their separate ways eh? so it was small so kinadi g um, mr c Uh, Waikenda etc and also Shazi was like an affiliate of mm, Blacks mm, mm. so so I confidence became to tell I asked BK where is your office I want to come to your office to meet your CEO <laughs> the office is in West if once I fika West I put there I don't even know where it is it was like a small car, car, car road mm, opposite Sarit yeah opposite Sarit then it it fungukas into like a dig so I put there put there I find it I ngia So BK introduces me to Marcel Waikenda who's Yo. the MD. Yo. The managing director at the time. So I tell Marcel skis are my G. Me I need a jobo. I need a jobo. I've, I've fallen out with my lady. I've now moved out on my own. I've rent to Lipa. All I need is you to pay me 5k. I even told him how much I want. I told him per gig just give me 5k. I didn't ask for 50 Gs. I didn't ask for 100 Gs asked him for 5k. Now new blacks to have gigs every week. Mm. Every week they were in clubs farm. Every week. So every time there's a gig, they, are, they, they deploy a DJ and now I propose to them deploy a hype man also so that we shikisha the show. 
So the guy tells me, okay, so what shall we pick a trial? Can he? Client, Viceroy. Ooh, my guy, Kwanza, hey, hi, Puko, you say, you, let's go, let's go. It was like a weekday farm, like a Thursday, a random night. It shaked. <laughs> I was given a retainer and t-shirt. I was, you know that black star t-shirt was yeah. like, Gold. It was like gold. Yeah. Man. Part of Blackstar, man. Mm. Hey, only MC or Blackstar, only MC or Blackstar. So it was a thing even in Shule. So guys are listening to me, where are the next gigs? Where are the next gigs? So I'm just asking Michelle for the roster. He tells me. This so hold on. So that thing was a success crazy. Yeah. So the guy was like, what do you mean? I'll give you this five yeah. gig. And then I, I really gelled with their DJs. Mm-hmm. Kina BK and mm. Mr. C. Like we became really good friends. And our stage energy was brilliant. So we, we just started working together and making it work. So what do you do? What what give give, an, give us an example of a DNG hype set? So so like today currently? Yes. What or, or, or what are your elements? What you know what I mean? So my, my hype set is based on music. Mm-hmm. So music is the core. Music actually is the core of my entire business. Yep. Uh, my even my agency to five entertainment started as an entertainment company first. Mm-hmm. Then metamorphosized into an agency. Yep. So even when we do activations, it, it has to be fun, it has to be lit, it has to be turned up. It's gotta be memorable, it's gotta be exciting, it's gotta be fresh. So that's my brand. Mm-hmm. That's what I sell to everybody, be it the president or the guy selling sugar. Mm. It's like that's what you can expect. Even like yesterday I was speaking to some clients who were asking me to MC a wedding. I don't do weddings, mm. but it's a personal friend is like, yo. You have to MC my way. Oh, how can I get on an MC and you're my boy? So I was telling the guy, it's called Cabro Big Up. In the camp, the camp. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're discussing and they're like, when you walk into a room, people already know what to expect. Mm. And that's the difference between me and any other entertainer. Mm. Because my brand promise is renown. Mm. Be it corporate, be it a concert, be it a birthday party. Mm. It's about to get lit. It's about to get lit. Mm. Now, mm what we need to, to decide on are the parameters <laughs> of how far we can take it. Are we buying mamas rushing them in the air or, or is it becoming ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? Good evening. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it can take whatever paradigm yeah. the client wants. Mm. So I evolve depending. I'll do serious gigs for corporates. I'll do presidential events, first lady, in, in. Mm. I'll do turn up concerts in Nakuru in the stadium. <laughs> mm, mm, I'll mm. do one in Kibira. I and get it. NYS launch. Yeah. yeah. Pigger that reggae tell Unye to pigger. Tidin, 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 job done. Okay, yeah. I get it. So it, it just depends on, on who. Mm-hmm. Some, it, some they want me to dress up into a character. Like I did one where I was dressed up as a cowboy. Mm, <laughs> but still the same litness. Still the same litness, mm. just with a theme. Some, some yes. clan events have themes, especially like end of year parties. Yeah, yep, yep. I've done one where it was old school, Chase mm. Bank. Uh, there's several guys. Uh, I'm ref. We did an old school party. Hey, bro. You've so done like, a lot. Yeah, it's, 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 For real, you're saying name, 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 name. I adapt accordingly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so so now you you join the Blackstar team. Join Blackstar and it's pop. How many gigs are you doing a week? So the rent to my party. So so yeah. So it's 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 not uh, uh, consistent. It's like depending. Also, you see, as as an agency, you book talent according to what they're paying. The, also, the, the job. No, no, the, the jobs that you land. So meaning that if you have three gigs this month, I'll do three gigs. If you have four yep. gigs, I'll do four. If you have yep. five, six, I'll do six. Mm. So the rent is just chasing there. By me, I just know per month I need bare minimum five. Five K. Mm. If I can make another five extra to fuel my whip, then I'll in gear with class. Because <laughs> I had a castle it. Yeah. Mm. And it was it was on. And now this moti you had bought it when? When did you buy your first moti? After moti? my Cora Chums checked in. Oh yes, yes, yes. And yes. I bought this car from Effie Hunja. Everyone used to be a TV presenter uh, on Nation. Yeah. Nation Television. Before NTV. What? <laughs> he was my neighbor in Gumo. Mm. I was introduced to him by Steve Mutaro. I bought the car. Then I pimped it out at Marsh Auto. They did it for me free of charge. Pro bono. Marsh Why? Auto. Because I emceed a gig of theirs called the East African Motor Show. Okay, so so it, part it, of my package deal was, was pimp the, up my the plus pimp, pimp up my whip sale. Yo. Because they have the workers. Yeah, I get And the paint. So they did for me pearl white nini rims yo that's crazy then i bought my speakers i put a woofer the back and i was popping bro I was in this nairobi man standing standing <laughs> like my daddy <laughs> okay so now this black star thing and by the way to qualify having a car kitambo was everything yeah it was 
then you are a young guy with a whip. Yeah, that was everything. Paka night, my game changed from being in the school bus in your Sayu to having a car. So now I'm driving to school like a lecture. And in USA, <laughs> were you doing anything? In terms were you organizing any gigs for USA? You uh, were you involved so, in school? Yeah, so I, did, I, uh-huh. I did a few projects. Like I did, um, there's another thing we did there for uh, for HIV AIDS awareness. I think it was called. I think it was in partnership with LBCT. Mm. Um, we did that, and then obviously it's a couple of events for Shule. Then what I started doing, I started um, bringing activations to school. Aha. Uh-huh. So what? So I, I set up for entertainment in 2003. As a so, oh, so 2003? 2000, 2008. I beg your pardon. Okay. 2008. Okay. That's when I set it up. But then I incorporated in 2009. Mm-hmm. So as I was exiting Blackstar into 254 Entertainment now full time, now you know I'm starting to get clients and all that. That's now when I started taking activations to Shule. So some of like the, I get it. The, the the clients I've worked with. Uh, I, I worked with at that time with guys like uh, Celtel. Mm. So before before Zane there was Celtel. Yep, yep, before yep. Airtel, there was Zane then Celtel. Mm. You know what I mean? So Celtel, uh, we did Celtel Idols. Uh, Because you've got the market into the union. Yeah. So so what happened? In fact, one of my clients was a friend, or a friend who became a client. Told 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 me or asked me like, in this USIU man, I just keep seeing you posting these photos of turn up. Can you bring young guys? Can you help us mobilize young people towards this brand? I'm like, yeah, yeah. You think I knew what activations were? No, me I just knew. If you tell me to bring for you 50 flight chicks <laughs> and <laughs> and and thirty look nice looking dudes, I, I got I'm, you. I got you. <laughs> If you have a venue and you want me to like direct traffic towards it, I can market. I can market for you. So guys, in Chuo, guys knew you as the guy. I'll give. I'm an entertainer, I'm sunny. So guys used to ask me weekend to end up. Oh. When the kuna concert, ka kuna concert wana come. Mm. Ka kuna like a gig in a club wana come. Mm. You know, kama tu tunaenda tu drink some out of Nairobi tunaenda. Yeah. Okay. So mimi nimsewa form sa shule. Let's go back to this Blackstar thing because you've yeah. talked about exiting it. Me I'm like I want to understand yeah. the period that you went Blackstar. What did you do? So, because now you're yeah. doing something that nobody had been doing before. Yeah. Hype man scoop kind of. Yeah. So I work with Blackstar so like up there keeping me busy. How is the man. market? How is the market receiving this? The market is already lit. Like they you see already they know my name the, my brand DNG mm. Gina Tarina Julikana. Yeah. Then I'm bringing in hype to parties. So you see parties already have like people in attendance. So it's just making sure that experience of those revelers is lit, it's mm. enjoyable, it's fun. Eh, 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 eh. Mm. And then what to work at the margin. Mm. So that we 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 tagging we tying in the client. Mm. So let's say it's a Tasca gig or a Viceroy gig or whatever, we're pushing product mm. mentions. Mm. So that's something like we introduced. Mm. And I was like, yo, apart from just activating and having fly chicks sampling let me push this product in the middle of the set mm. give me a mzinga i am see with it like hey, hey, yeah that's cool like i'm seeing have a drink mm, mm. i'm swinging guys shots nani nataka shots mzee a voice roy na mogi na mogi leo sema shot hapo yani inakuwa noma na kwa unataka voice roy ingia kwenye bar shilingi i push the product yeah. you get what i mean so it's an experiential lifestyle that i'm selling real time mm. So the client from an ROI perspective they are sales are happening real time. Yep, yep, yep. I'm marketing Anytime the brand. Yeah, guys are drinking. Yeah, come. guys are drinking. They mm. drink. <laughs> Every time I say put your glasses in the air what you angapi wako na mzinga ndani ya nyumba. Kauna mzinga unasikia hivyo unabai. Be mzuri. Unaelewa? That's what I sell for clients. That's what I do. That's that's what my agency does. Mm. So a lot of the clients who are going to the Blackstar were mostly drink clients because yeah, they do the clubs. Time. Clubs, yes. Yeah, so clubs you're trying to the product in clubs yeah. is drinks. So now later I switched it up. I even took uh, Zane and Airtel to clubs. Selling airtime because you in a club you need to communicate to your friends who are coming. Yep. You need bundles. This was the time before Wi-Fi was yeah, yeah, yeah. in a club. Mm. So you had to buy bundles man say. Yep, yep, yep. To call guys to order a taxi in any Not to communicate. I've done all that. Okay, so hi, what okay, tell us more about this Blackstar experience. So now So yeah, so they kept me busy and it, it also now gave me And you also doing outside Nairobi. Blackstar mostly was Nairobi. Okay. They, they had locked Nairobi clubs. Who I, are the who are the other guys who are in this scene at the time doing events yeah. of that nature? Yeah. There was Code Red. Mhm. So I didn't work with Code Red much because I was working for their breakout <laughs> click. I'm now really work with Code Red much. Um there was by you know I respect the hustle that stars. Yeah. 
has always had. The Skiles needs to sit on this seat. He's a pawn here, my G. Mm. Big shout out, Stingo. Let up here, son. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so then they were like the normal agencies, homeboys. So funny enough, after guys seeing me do that that thing for homeboys, for, for, for Blackstar, other brands started now calling me for gigs. Yep. So like Black uh, homeboys b- brought me on for, for, for gig, like I did uh, the Celtel uh, to, uh, competition at uh, Uhuru Gardens mm. where they awarded Major as the finalist. Mm. So Major was a breakout star from Neri who, who won that competition. And now went under Clemo. Unko. Yes. Yes, then now Clemo was one of the judges and then he gave him a record deal. I MC that gig. Then now black, uh, with working with homeboys. Just to show guys how long ago this was. This, <laughs> this is Major hadn't even become a musician. Yeah, man. <laughs> even I don't remember the year. <laughs> then with working with homeboys opened up EABL. So homeboys was a handling tasker. Mm. That's how I started working out with, on Tasker Project Fame. So I used to handle all the eviction parties. Ooh. So so when big, Gaetano big, big, big and Nikki, this is Tasker Project Fame. Oh, Tasker Project Fame. Sorry, sorry. So when, when Gaetano and Nikki are, MC- are, are finished with the show that used to come on, on, on television, mm-hmm. then the evictee mm-hmm. goes to a there's club. A part, it's, it was used to call it the, the eviction party. party. Okay, eviction party. Tasker Project Fame eviction party. So it used to be in different clubs in, a, in, in the city. So I started them seeing those gigs. They put me on a roster. Yo, so that's a weekly gig. Yeah, every and that week. one is not five k. Yeah, that one is not five k. <laughs> that one I took my rate card now to like twenty five. Nice. And now here, you see now at twenty at this stage, I'm working without a manager now because now I've, I've broken. Like, it's like I moved from Jomino. I've set up my company, mm-hmm. but I've not yet started getting gigs with two five four entertainment. Mm-hmm. But I've set, I've established, and, and I've set now, up, I've and, registered Nini. Mm-hmm. But my goal is to be able to be at the top of the food chain because I realized there's money. And, and I always felt like, instead of waiting for promoters to call me and offer me chums, why can't I go fish for these chums myself? Mm. Why pay myself how much I want? Mm. But I knew first I had to grow and also now intermingle with clients because as your man, as your MC, you're meeting the brand manager, you're meeting the marketing manager, yep, 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 you're meeting yep. the head of communications. Yep. You're building trust, building your relationships, building your networks, delivering a, a, a one product or service. So that's how I, I did it. So so I'm seeing one gig uh, f- opened up uh, with the homeboys. And Blackstar started, didn't mind you doing, or is this did like, this cause so, riff? So, so it was a, it was like transitional. Mm. So where Blackstar have a jobo, they call me. Mm. Where another agency has a jobo, they call me. You get so now Yo. I start it, it became like more of like freelance. Mm, I get, I get. So now I'm working with different people. You see. And do you have any competition at this time? In terms of hype MC, no. Yeah. Maybe just maybe DJ Nijo, who but that at the time he was still focused as a DJ. Mm. So not him, as an MC. Yeah. You see. So I was alone in this paradigm. I'm solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, pioneering yeah. an industry that doesn't exist. Yo, bro. So I'm proving to guys. Some guys don't believe it can work. Nini haters, uh, Gazetti wanandika takataka. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so before social media, I guess trolling with free Wi Fi, yeah. there was Gazetti writing yeah, about ba- it. Ba- ba- whole page. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then you may keep pushing the brand. So I, I, I started working with other agencies like uh, True Black. The late be careful. Mm. Gave me a lot of work. And this now, my, I'm pushing my, my rate card higher. Now it's at like 50 Gs. And are you because of demand? It? Like agencies now are looking for me. What? I don't know these people, but they are calling me. So now they are calling you. You don't have to go and do proposals. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, they are calling me. They, man. Maybe maybe the girl was in the club and he said, I he like saw, that. Even me, saw. I need to do this. So thing. people are like, DNG, I like you to MC a gig. How much do you charge? Mm-hmm. So this is now before a rate card in. Mm. This time people don't know how much I charge. So now grow to. Now I'm trying to push it. So nowadays, homeboys will pay me 20, 25, 35. I keep pushing. Mm. I've always keep pushing my clients to pay me better. As also, my brand is growing, my yep. influence is growing, my 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 performance is getting better. Mm. So guys here, maybe here in 300k, they, they start smiling, not knowing there's a time you are getting 5k. Yeah, or zero. 25k, or zero, yeah. you get what I mean? Yeah. Guys, it's a journey, it's, it's a been journey 16, over, How many years, you said? 16 years. 16 years of MC, bro. A, of entertainment. Okay, of entertainment. From, from when I released my first song in, uh, in 2003, mm-hmm. December, mm-hmm. to December this year, will be 17 years. Yo. Okay, I get it. So the MC still life is still over ten years. Oh, still over ten years. Yeah, maybe maybe even over twelve. Yeah, yo, this is cool. Okay, so now you've 
you, have you stopped doing being an artist or now let's talk about this chapa remix because you talked about yeah so, so it's like i'm doing i'm doing a bit of both 